A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. I hear it's going to be a party of special magnificence. You know Bilbo? He's got the whole place in an uproar. <laughs> well, that should please him. <laughs> Half the Shire's been invited, and the rest of them are turning up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so life in the Shire goes on, very much as it has this past age, full of its own comings and goings, with change coming slowly if it comes at all. For things are made to endure in the Shire, passing from one generation to the next. There's always been a Baggins living here under the hill in Bag End. And there always will be. To tell you the truth, Bilbo's been a bit odd lately. I mean, more than usual. He's taken to locking himself in his study. He spends hours and hours poring over old maps when he thinks I'm not looking. Oh. Where's he gone? Then keep your secrets. Good. But I know you have something to do with it. Good gracious me. Before you came along, we Bagginses were very well thought of. Indeed. Never had any adventures or did anything unexpected. If you're referring to the incident with the dragon, I was barely involved. All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out of the door. Whatever you did, you've been officially labeled a disturber of the peace. Glad you're back. So am I, dear boy. 